Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to switch gears entirely from what we have talked about in the beginning of this class to another core area of algebra that you're going to encounter at some point in your life, in your study of algebra. Uh, and that's going to be the topic of sequences. Uh, this section is going to be on what we call sequences, and then the remaining sections will be on what we call series, which are infinite series, and those are going to be uh, things that are very tightly related and, and directly related to sequences here. So we'll get a good foundation here, okay? So uh, a sequence uh, is, uh, is uh, something that can kind of throw people off at the beginning, but it is, it is basically in its simplest form just a list of numbers, okay? You've been dealing with sequences all your life. Anytime you put down on paper, you know, the list of numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's a sequence. It's just a listing of numbers, okay? If you put down 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, that's a list of numbers. It's a sequence. If you put down 1, 3, 9, and so on, any, any uh, list of numbers is called a sequence. So an infinite sequence, and I'll just write it down, an infinite sequence An infinite sequence is a list of numbers uh, that goes on forever. Okay, so the uh, the sequences that I just gave you an example of a minute ago were just sequences of uh, just a finite number of numbers, you know, five or ten numbers. But an infinite sequence is just a list of numbers that goes on forever. So you'll see patterns here. You know, a lot of times you'll see on these tests, you know, uh, here's a list of numbers, find the next number. There's some pattern there, okay? So these infinite sequences are all gonna be things like that. They're gonna have a pattern and you're gonna have to deal with that, okay? So the way that you kind of uh, write it in compact form is like this. Each element of the sequence is going, to be, uh, is going to be written as a sub n. Uh, don't get scared off by this notation. All it means is that it's a number. We call it a. n sub n just means it's the nth term. So, you know, it's a, it's a list of numbers. You know, you have a first number and a second number and a third number and a fourth number and a fifth number and a 271st number down over there. Well, you have to have some way of, of keeping track of which number's which. So there's a little subscript there, and that just means it's the first number or the third number or the tenth number or whatever. And the curly braces, oh, that's just notation too. It just means this is a sequence. That's all it means. It's, it's, these curly braces usually just mean that this is a sequence. So what this would mean is uh, that the, the sequence would be a1, a2, a3, a4, and notice these are not added together or anything. These are just numbers separated by commas. And it would go on forever to A sub infinity. It would go on to A, you know, a sub one million or whatever, okay? So some examples of sequences would be things like this. Zero, two, four, six, eight, dot, dot, dot. We talked about that. Uh, or, you know, like we talked about before, zero, three, six, 9, 12, dot, dot, dot. And you see there's patterns in each one of them. In each one of these, you could predict the next one, okay? The next one here would be 10, and the next one here uh, would be 15, right? Because you're adding 3 to each one, okay? So there's a pattern involved there, okay? So the terms are usually related to one another so that there's a pattern involved, okay? And here we're just going to get into our first problem, and I'm going to show you how these things are written down. If somebody said, here is a sequence, and the elements of this sequence is given by 3n plus 2, what this means is that every element, or every, you know, every number of the sequence is, so for instance, there's an a sub 